Hey, it's a Humble Collector here, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at a uh, piece of trench art from World War I. I'm sure it's come through in a couple of my other videos. I'm a really big fan of trench art, and uh, this is a kind of a unique piece because a lot of the... Uh... Well, I'll just show it to you first. that will make it a little easier. This is a 75mm uh, shell, and a lot of the trench art shells that you see uh, have actually been done by jewelers. Uh, a lot of them got displaced during the war, particularly from uh, Belgium, and so they would actually make them behind the lines for souvenirs. They'd sell them to Allied soldiers, and this one's unique because obviously this was not made by a jeweler. You can tell that right away because it's the craftsmanship is not great. It's better than anything I could have made for sure, but still, um, compared to some of the other examples I've seen, definitely not particularly ornate or well done. Um, also, sometimes you'll see a twist in vases like this are made out of shells. This one, of course, doesn't have that. Also, this one's unique because it still has the actual shell on it. Um, I believe this is an explosive shell of some kind. Or it was. It's been demilled. You can see it's got three holes drilled in it. Uh, missing the cap. And uh, there's actually still some gray junk on the inside. I don't know if you can really see that. It's kind of dark in there. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Uh, could very well be gunpowder. I have no clue. Hopefully not, though. That'd be dangerous. Um, but yeah, so here's the actual uh, shell casing itself. So on the front here, we have actually a picture of a doughboy, which I find absolutely fascinating. I wonder if that was actually like a self-portrait, maybe, or just a generic doughboy. Um, got a three-leaf clover there. We have a heart that says JCW uh, with an arrow running through it. Another heart up here that just says JC, so I think this might have been... He didn't like how this one was going, so he decided to just scrap that and keep going with what he had. Now on the front here, I believe this is 1st Field Artillery Battery C. Maybe, not 100% on that. Uh, it's engraved to his mother on the bottom here. There's this nice diamond design on the front, actually. The diamonds turned out very well. Uh... Another heart on the side with AB. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole shell. And it's kind of got like this speckled pattern throughout this field here. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of that is besides... I don't know, just making it so it's not just flat brass the rest of the way around. But yeah, uh, like I said, it's a 75mm shell. Uh, that, yeah, there we go. Yeah, 75mm shell. Uh, US bomb proof mark, I believe that's what that is. But yeah, very, um, like I said, very odd piece for a trench art shell. Uh, like I said, most of the ones you see are engraved by jewelers, professionals. Uh, so yeah, I wonder what the story is behind this. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find a roster for the first field artillery, so I haven't been able to like look up if this soldier is actually this JCW. Um, but yeah, definitely a unique piece, of, particularly, like I said, considering it has the uh, actual shell still, or in actual shell still. Uh, yeah, I actually use it at the moment to uh, as a helmet display. So I have my World War One 28th Division helmet actually up on top of this, which is kind of cool. It looks nice. Um, but yeah, so if you guys uh, enjoyed the video, leave a comment down below. Love hearing from you. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, happy collecting, and I will see you all again soon.